Hello, in this second part I am going to show you how to upgrade the power supply by adding a cooling system. This is necessary if you want to charge large capacity batteries that need high current for a long period of time. So, our cooling system consists in two fans that switch on and off using hysteresis. When the step down converter reaches the higher limit temperature, the fans switch on, and when the temperature goes under the lower limit temperature, the fans switch off. All the process is done by the thermostat that has a relay that controls the state of the fans on or off. Also we have a smaller step down converter that powers the fans and the thermostat instead of the AC to DC because they need 12 volts and not 24. So now let's see how the thermostat works. It has 4 terminals that are plus 12 volts, ground and the connections for the relay. The display shows 3 L's if the sensor isn't connected. Once it's in place, the display shows the temperature. To set the higher limit temperature, press on the switch marked with writing set and then adjust with the other two switches the temperature. I set it to 55 degrees. After, when the thermostat shows the room temperature, hold down the set switch for 5 seconds, then another time press it to choose P0 function. Then the display shows C or H, that stands for cooling and heating, choose C. Now select P1 function and set the hysteresis range temperature, again using the other two switches. I set to 10 degrees Celsius. Here an example, the higher limit temperature is set to 25 degrees and the hysteresis range is set to 2 degrees. So the lower limit temperature is 25 minus 2 degrees or 23 degrees. Once the thermostat is programmed, let's assemble the parts. For the first, I soldered in parallel the fans. Then I soldered two wires to the output of the AC to DC converter. These wires will power our small step-down converter, so I soldered them to it. Using a screwdriver and a multimeter, I set the output voltage to 12 volts. Solder some wires to the output and use double side tape to fix the step down converter on the bottom of the case like this. One of these two black wires have to go to the ground of the thermostat and another one is the ground of the fans. Next I attached ground and 12 volt to the thermostat and using a small piece of wire connected 12 volt to one of relay terminals. To the second terminal of the relay I connected the positive wire of the fence. Then I marked the places and drilled the holes for the thermostat. The same for the fence. Before inserting the components I made some holes for the fence air flowing and also cut a rectangle for the temperature display. Next I fixed all the components like this and cut the screws because they were too long. After some tests I found out that it's better to put the thermal sensor near the step down converter heatsink. Use also some thermal conductive silicone. Now let me give you some advices. You should cover with some electric tape the bottom of the AC to DC converter and if you have a metallic case put also some electric tape on the case under the AC to DC. Now I would like to make a concretization about the constant voltage potentiometer. Use a 7K ohm potentiometer and you won't need to put a resistor in parallel. Using a 10K ohm potentiometer, the output voltage is maximum when the value of its resistance is 6.8K. So what happens is that we have this remaining rotation that doesn't influence the output voltage. To fix this, we have to add in parallel a 22K ohm resistor to obtain 6.8K ohm when the potentiometer is turned to its maximum 10K ohm. Here the calculations that I made to determine the value we needed. So now everything works just fine. And this is it. 
The power supply can work for a long time thanks to the cooling system without the risk that something will be damaged by the heat.